Hey everybody, Santa Claus here, Friday 11-11. That's right, November 11th. So, uh, got a lot accomplished today. Pretty much, um, Jeffrey's finished with the roof. A couple little odds and ends to do. And then I have to find the next project for him. Uh, my idea is, uh... I want to do like a little playground for the kids. They're always bored and they like to climb on things. And since the trampoline got destroyed, we're still waiting uh, maybe for Beam to do some welding on it, see if it can be repaired. Uh, but I'd like to build them a little, little place they can hang out and play. Uh, it shouldn't cost too much money, just uh, labor and uh, some wood. So maybe he'll start that tomorrow. But uh, let me show you the final roof finishing. So I think we're prim primarily going to use it uh, for parking. Uh, maybe for the motorcycle like where my scooter is. And uh, maybe the tricycle there. Jimmy's motorcycle. But it came out really nice. I'm glad I got the gray colored tarp because all the roof is silver and gray. It came out really nice. Jeffrey did a nice job. We'll see how long it holds up. Here's what it looks like underneath. There's all his kids. Hi. Hi. Except for, uh, of course, James and Catherine. They're all having a few beers because uh, the job is complete. Kind of a celebration. Uh, what else? What else is new? Not much, really. It's been a pretty hot, humid day, but right now it's not bad. Let me show you. About this time of day, it always gets a little cooler. Feels good right now. Nice little breeze coming in. Not bad, not bad at all. So uh, we put the other picnic table here where where the uh, Kubos used to be. And uh, Grace's car's over there under the little tarp. So I think we're pretty much set. I got a couple more solar lights I have to buy. And then really I don't want to build anything else other than maybe that playground. Cause this is Jeffrey's only job. I'm trying to uh, trying to keep him working, and he does a good job. So I appreciate him. He's kind of like Beam used to be, but Beam doesn't help us too much anymore, uh, and he still owes me some money. So when he does help, he doesn't get paid. He just gets deducted what he owes me. So that's why I haven't seen him in a while. Because he knows if he comes and does something, he's not going to get paid. So that's how it works around here. Uh, as far as the uh, dead caribou, seems to be okay. Another day with no dogs over there, no smell. I think we're okay. Uh, Jimmy has to make another trip to Cabana Tuan for his teeth. Probably going to do that next week. And also uh, the helper here, uh, Grace's helper, I call her a maid or a helper, whatever you want to call her. She said she's going to leave, she's going to go back to Manila uh, next Wednesday or Thursday. So she won't be with us anymore, which is disappointing because she's really good. And she speaks and understands English. So uh, that's going to be hard to replace her. She'll be missed. 
I don't know what we're going to do, if we're going to find somebody else or what. We'll wait and see. And then, uh, haven't had too many questions or comments on the house, on the place for sale here. Nobody's really inquiring. Probably because it's rights, not no title. So I'm still trying to work on that. Uh, we need to talk to uh, Edwin again over here and see if uh, we can work something out with him because he he knows uh, he knows more about it than uh, we do. He's got all the information on the mother title and all that stuff. So we're waiting maybe till he comes back in town where we can talk to him and get together with him. Maybe try to work on uh, this text, text declaration thing. Uh, other than that, really not a lot going on. Just glad to have this all finished now. You can see it from a distance a little bit better. It looks good, looks complete now. And uh, other than the tarpaulin, it's, it's pretty strong. Of course if you get a 200 mile an hour wind it's not going to hold up uh, but everything's buttoned down it's not really removable like I said yesterday because uh, they nailed it down it's down pretty permanent we'll see how long it lasts if I have to replace it it was all uh, the whole tarpaulin was only uh, 700 pesos $14 um, and then I can always do like we did over here, you know, put another tarp on top of it if it gets holes. Just keep putting tarps and tarps. Because I really don't want to spend the money on a new roof, especially for the house over here. That's going to be a big job. I wish uh, in the very beginning, when I built it, would have done a cement roof. Would have been a lot better. But I didn't know much back then. I didn't know now what I knew. I didn't know then what I know now. So that's uh, that's the story there. So maybe I'll go with Jimmy if he has to go to Kabona Tuan for his teeth. Maybe I'll go with him. Uh, don't really know. We'll kind of play that by ear. Um, just right now, just taking it easy. Just got out of the shower, nice cool shower, and uh, enjoying the little breeze here. And they're all enjoying a red horse over there. I had one beer. Might have another one later. But uh, that's it, really. Not a whole lot more to tell you. Um, trying to think if there's anything I missed. Or any questions I got not really nobody's been uh, asking me too many questions been getting a few comments getting a lot of uh, views on my dead caribou video um, but uh, as far as the uh, house for sale not too many so just wait and see get the 800 then uh, then try to get to a thousand because um, once you get to a thousand on YouTube in case you guys don't know you can get monetized which means you can get commercials and you can start making like a little bit of money uh, if I ever get to that point um, it won't probably won't be much money you have to have tons tons of views and uh, I just don't get it. Even uh, even with the videos I have, you know, there's not that many views. It says I got a lot of uh, watchers on my channel. They have a thing you can press the analytics and it tells you. And I have, uh, like, sometimes I have like 2,000 uh views on my channel in one month sometimes I have more than that but um, I don't know where all those people are because they're not subscribing so uh, please you guys if you're watching the channel at all even if you're just uh, surfing through YouTube 
just hit the subscribe button for Santa. He would appreciate it. And uh, I promise you, if you take care of me, I'll take care of you. I'll come down your chimney December 24. I'll leave you something nice. And you'll get good karma. So like and subscribe. God bless everyone that's going to do it. Santa Claus, over and out.